Hello and welcome to this new lecture on designing for resource tags. So within this lecture, we're going to talk about how to tag your resources. So the resource tagging is very important to organize your resources so that uh, you can tag uh, more information uh, which can be saved as a metadata for your resources. So before you're starting uh, anything with the resource tagging project, ask yourself, uh, do you really want to uh, accomplish what exactly? Uh, will the tags will be used for uh, reporting or building purpose? Or perhaps you will use the tags to enable more effective searching purpose or maybe the tags will be used for automation scripts so you could also use your automation scripts to uh, work against a specific tag so be sure you know clearly define your goals so that you could achieve the uh, proper tagging information so you should consider uh, your organization specific requirements and your project specific requirements when you try to uh, work on a resource tags since uh, uh, one re for one resource you can assign multiple tags that's again an ad added advantage in our case to work with resource tagging and you can add you can modify delete different type of resource tags and those actions can be done even with a powershell or maybe powershell or azure portal cli and even rest api based also you could do it even directly from azure portal also you could be able to do it you can also apply tags to a resource group but there's a small limitation on that part that is the resources within that resource group do not inherit those tags by default. That's something you have to you know, consider when you're trying to design. Okay, let's take the example of Tailwind Traders. And uh, in this case, Tailwind has a sales corporate IT. Throughout this uh, module, we are following the similar hierarchy and we would like to you know apply uh, same concepts here. Uh, try to you know understand like West or East region specific application so you could actually apply tags something like west or east and similarly classification for hr or legal you could apply as nda for legal and internal for hr and you could also apply for application one application two or maybe shade such information can be assigned in terms of tagging so tagging is easy and uh, it's very important to uh, organize the things in the right way so consider your organization taxonomy also has your organization already defined terms for compliance or cost costing reporting purpose or align those tags uh, which are accepted by your departments uh, for example uh, nomenclature uh, will make it easier to understand for example uh, office locations or confidentiality levels or programs that are already defined might be helpful to assign the in those lines these are tags consider whether you need an IT aligned or maybe business aligned tagging so you need to think in this direction for either it's IT aligned or business aligned tagging so generally you can uh, choose IT aligned tagging or business aligned tagging a combination of two approaches also can be ex effectively uh, applied and many organizations are shifting from IT aligned to business alignment tagging strategies that's what I can see in the recent past my experience few of the examples that we can discuss on IT aligned tagging uh, where you can focus on a workload or application or function or environment critical or environment critical uh, so this actually makes it will reduce the complexity of your monitoring assets uh, simplifies making management decisions based on operation requirements the same line if I could you know take an example let's say you have a printers which are 80% uh, busy on IT point of view uh, you could you know find that information and then you could you know maybe ordering some more printers based on the IT alignment tagging information uh, which shows the uh, maybe in a monitoring screen right you might be getting as 80 percent these printers are busy so you could you know plan in that business area or in that IT aligned specific area and if we take it as a business alignment tagging uh, which which explains or which focuses on accounting business ownership cost responsibility because uh, every business unit or 
responsible for their cost of utilizing the resources definitely or the business criticality also defines so it provides some it, it, it actually provides improved accounting of a cost and value for your IT assets to the overall business so it shifts the focus from an assets operational cost to an asset business value that's where business aligned tagging would you know help you out so let, let's take one example uh, for business aligned tagging also uh, for example there's a marketing department and they are uh, doing a lot of promotional uh, information and uh, it is uh, in the recent past because of those promotions it has increased the sales revenue to maybe a 10 percent so we should invest and in more on a printing capabilities so earlier they might have you know lesser printing capabilities you might have to think to move to the uh, latest technology maybe on a printing side so that's one example that i could uh, think about it and also you should also consider type of tagging that is required that uh, you know we, we talked about you know type of uh, tag tags like functional classification accounting partnership uh, purpose so if I take as example in this case as a functional let's say there's an application so you could say that application equivalent catalog search one that might be your application name or there could be a tire like you know or mid tire or maybe web server tire or database side database tire in such a way you could actually create and web server equivalent may be apache so you could run your automation scripts on a all apache servers uh, for patching maybe they found some kind of vulnerability or you want to you know, stop them or you want to do some additional configuration you could easily do it in case if you have a functional tagging assigned properly including even environments so if it is the service of production you could actually simply put as uh, environment is product or do or staging so based on that you could take some actions so when it comes to the classification you could think about your service level agreements my friend so classification for example it's a confidential uh, maybe a private or SLS or 24 hours so that way you could uh, think or you could you know apply tagging and based on the taggings you could apply some Azure policies and that's where you can you know take some uh, actions and let's take even accounting accounting is like a department for example department is equivalent finance or maybe a region is North America that's how you could take it and allows it will allow you to you know the flexibility side or the flexibility side it will actually allow you a resource to be associated with a specific groups with an organization for billing purpose and coming back to the partnership uh, a partnership is another thing like you know it might be a co-partnership or maybe the owner of that as your resources within the specific thing maybe a or James or maybe it could be contracted by some other company or you could even uh, give here partnership as stakeholders like a user one user two user three case so that it it provides more information about what people uh, whether it is outside of IT or inside IT are responsible otherwise the uh, affected uh, for that specific resource in case if you are looking for some kind of a downtime or maybe it is impacted you could you know easily contact them and take a decision in that situation and the coming back to the purpose we talked about the purpose side for example business process or maybe business impact moderate or revenue impact may be high such tagging you could assign for your resources that makes more uh, sense uh, in other other way and also you should also consider uh, starting with few tags and then scaling out but don't think you know try to put everything at the first attempt and uh, it might you know go for a more complex so start with a simple uh, uh, rather than identifying all the possible tags uh, for your organization needs uh, prototype using a, a few important or critical tags and that's where you can determine how effective this tagging is before adding uh, or more resource tagging okay one other important point would be uh, you can enforce these tags with the help of Azure policies. So consider Azure policies, which is again the next lecture where you can you know think about Azure policy, uh, which can enable you to you know create and assign and manage policies that can control even auditing uh, your resources purpose so that you can enforce a different rules uh, over your resource configuration so that they are 
configured as you want it and that also can uh, met your complaints uh, or with your organization or corporate standards so i'll catch you in the next lecture and this is the uh, small topic on a resource tagging well catch you in the next lecture thank you